Good morning, and welcome to Put It On Paper. My name is Catherine Rausch, and I have uh, in the audience, or in the studio today, <laughs> um, Charles Rogers. Yep. A screenwriter from here in Tennessee. I'm delighted to be here. Yeah. Nice to have you. Okay. And um, we're going to talk today about where we get our inspiration for screen, uh, script writing. And it comes differently for everybody. But um, I thought if you had just two people's ideas, it would help those of you who are out there working on breaking through the um, blank stages of figuring out what you want to do. Um, I write for the Lord. He has called me to, to make movies um, for spiritual purposes to, for, uh, to touch people with spiritual needs. And I do that, of course, through prayer and listening and um, following his direction, but mostly I get his ideas. Um, if I need to know where a scene's going to be, I can ask him. If I need to know, okay, um, so what do you, I want to ask, what do you use as inspiration? So I, I tend a lot towards, I almost want to say educational. Okay. In a way, I'm, I'm a huge history nerd. Okay. I read these big old thick books oh, on really? the, the oh. Holy Roman Empire and all sorts of crazy historical stuff, but, but one of my favorite moments as a writer is if I can write something, write a scene, write a plot point, write a character, that I've taken some inspiration from something in history or some inspiration from something in classic literature that I've read, mm -hmm. and someone will say to me, oh, Charles, this was a really cool how you had this happen. And I go, well, I actually based it off this real thing, or this was inspired by this other book. So mm. if I can lead through my writing someone towards these things that I'm very passionate about, this history and mythology and literature, if I can lead people to these, these places just through my work, that's where I tend to try to look for. And then obviously if somebody, somebody says, we'll pay you however many dollars to write something, that'll supersede everything. But yeah. I, gotta, I gotta pay for food somehow. There's four cats and they've all gotta eat. Oh. <laughs> so who would you say your audience is when you're writing history? Uh, it's surprisingly more, more varied than you think. Okay. Because a lot of, we think of history as a concept in terms of very high school, middle school history, where you're sitting in this dusty classroom. Dry, some, some Memorizing life. these names and dates. And if you yeah. really dig into the stories, the meat of what's okay. going on in these places, you can get a large, a larger audience than you would expect. People who would have okay. slept through history class in high school are suddenly really interested in learning these things. Okay. I, I enjoy talking about history just in my day-to-day -day life, particularly American history I've found. A lot of people in, in Tennessee in particular are really more well-educated on American history than I think they let on. And it's interesting to see how much people know and how much people don't know that you can then say, oh, well, you know, this really cool thing that happened X and X number of years into the, the country's history. It's always nice to see someone go, oh, I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Well, they probably didn't teach it to you in yeah. high school. They were probably busy making you memorize a date. Yeah, so you like to teach through your screenwriting. I, I yeah. do. I, I think one of the most exciting things for me is when somebody leaves something I've written I don't want to say smarter, more informed than okay. they were when they originally came into it. And even if, even if they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily interested in that, if they, they just want to enjoy a story on a surface level, then that's fine by me. Then I've, okay. I've delivered something, even if they don't know it, okay. I've delivered something that maybe will stay in the back of their mind. Okay. How about um, new screenwriters? I mean, we know the process is <laughs> tough. Yes. And, and you've got to be um, determined, and you've got to press in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what would you tell a new screenwriter to encourage them to find 
to help them to find inspiration for theirs. You know, the important thing, Catherine, is really the title of, of this show. And the important thing is to get things down on paper. You've got to find a writing strategy, a planning strategy, an inspirational strategy that works for you as a writer. So my strategy maybe would not necessarily work for you or your strategy of, of where you look to for inspiration may not necessarily work for me. It's about developing who you are as an individual. And that starts out in the beginning. Yes. It's yeah. getting something down on paper. That's the number one thing. And to let yourself be different. Yes. You don't have to follow the masses. Exactly. I think it's very important. You'll sell better if you're, you're more individual. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it was a pleasure to have you. And I just wish you the best as you keep into your, continue in your screenwriting. <laughs>
Well, we sure appreciate having you. Oh, thank you, Jack. I'll see you next time. Hasta la vista, corazón. Well, I guess it just goes to show. You need all types of hats to make Nashville work, but it isn't going to be easy. It requires tolerance, compassion, open heart and open mind, tradition and innovation to make a city like Nashville a great place to live. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. Bring your own hat by anytime.